you are going to be living with. So if you are already married, listen carefully. Majority of the problems you're having with your spouse is because of these things we're going to be discussing today. You do not have some levels of understanding. We're going on right now. He's not a woman. She's not a man. Now, for it to be called marriage, one of you must be a man. Or if you ask me, a husband. And one of you must be a woman or a wife. What do I mean? Whether it's a marriage between the people they call straight, I don't have time for all this. <laughs> the ones they call same sex. Man and man, woman and woman, man and woman. For it to be called marriage, there must be that thing made from origin that one person among these two persons who are saying we are married, we are going to be married, we want to marry or we are married, one person must be assume the position of a man, even if they are same sex. <laughs> one person must assume the position of a woman. That is the wife. They, this one say, I'm the husband. Even if they are with two women, this one say, I have had, I've seen here where in the environment where we stay, a woman say, my wife. Another woman will say, my husband. The person she's referring to is used to be some call it transgender and all the rest of them. Those, so what I'm saying is generally, the, nobody can break that principle that if for, <laughs> nobody can break the principle that for, for you to be called marriage, one person must be a husband, that is a man, and one person must be a woman. Take it. <laughs> there are, there's no amount of anything you can do whether it's talking, shouting, or for the people, biologically, those who do that, medically, to change, I can to make me not change her. There could be some physical changes when they you are injected, mm -hmm. like me now, if you start injecting me, the doctors who are specialists, I can start growing breasts, I can start growing other parts of the body, you know, but it would not change the, the, some of the things inside of me from origin that makes me a man. So, so, her. So the point I'm making here, we are trying to make today is that married people make a very great, a very, very big mistake. Often. And I watch this mistake in many marriages, many marriages, many marriages. Those who are having small, slight problems, those who are having big problems, you know, those who are having major problems, those who are having minor problems. Some the problems have come to the point whereby they cannot even settle. They, there's this problem. What is the problem? The problem of the woman always want, trying, wanting her husband, expecting her husband to be like a woman, not like a woman. Act like her. Act like her, he, he, her, think like her, behave like her, dress like her, talk like her live like her and so on and so forth. And the man, the same thing, especially we, is it more from us? <laughs> especially the man, say, look at her, look at him. I want to be like this. He, he, I want you to be, can't you be her, I want you to the be. The point is that <laughs> a woman cannot be a man. A man cannot be a woman. Can't even be how you want Put her it. to be. Yes. That's the correct Put it in your head. <laughs> Once you put it in your head, that is a beginning of having a right expectation. Having a right expectation from, from her and from him. You having a right expectation from her and from him. Let's go. You need to study. You need to read. You need to understand. And above all, you need to accept that your wife is a woman and will remain a woman. And then as a woman, you need to accept the fact that your husband is a man and will remain a man. Must be like a man. Must behave like, must a behave man. like one. You know? Must talk like one. Must act like one. Must think like one. 
once you get that understanding that this is how he will be and how do you get the understanding take time to study men if his book there are books read books notice that you know if they are just start, as even as she's living with me now she can study me in sciences they call it in the in study they say it's shadowing because you can just study the person and know this is how men behave you know, sometimes women end up at, man, all of you are the same. Women, all of you are the same. Women. The statement that doesn't change anything. St take time to understand what and what makes someone a woman. Some say, especially women, a woman is a book. Eh? And I don't know if you are listening to a woman, you have told your husband this, the women who are books that you need to read us and understand us. But why is it that women also forget? So some people who say that, forget that men are bigger books to read and understand and even to remember for you to have a sweet marriage. Otherwise, there cannot be any sweet marriage. See, let me tell you, what we're saying today is that if you don't have a perfect understanding of whom the person you are living with is, you cannot have a sweet marriage. Take it, whether you know or you do not know, whether you accept it or you don't accept it. For as long as you continue to live to, to expect your husband, expect your wife, expect your husband to be a man, sorry, expect your husband to be a woman and expect your wife, you know, to be a man, think like you, act like you, be, uh, do everything the way you do it. There will continue to be problems because you will keep, you keep, you know, despising her, you know, you keep, you keep, Mocking her when you keep you see her as whatever you want to see her as. Having unmet expectations. That's it. That's that's it, my, my beloved. Having unmet expectations will not be met at all because, as far as you're concerned, she's not doing well. Mm -hmm. Because you are measuring her with yourself as a woman or as a man. Go. Women are not the only people who bring trouble in marriage. Like some people think these women they are package of trouble it's not true it's men too bring problems in marriage so you've got to know study whom the man is the man you are going to you are getting married to so today why we will attempt to give you know some definitions i try to give you some points about the uniqueness of women and uniqueness of men see i want you to know this as you go home maybe you start watch see know that your wife is going to remain a woman. So study to what women are like, how they behave, how they talk, how they respond. You know, sometimes I get that means I'm a wife. <laughs> Why she must talk that way? Why she must? But as God started giving me understanding that she is a woman, she has to behave that way. She has to talk that way. She has to act that way. She has to think that way. I will laugh when such problems come up. Praise God. Now, the principle which will help you live more enjoyably with your spouse is for you to understand that your wife can never be a man if you're a woman and you're listening to us, and your husband can never be a woman. Never you expect her to behave like a man if you're a man. Never you expect her to behave like a woman. Today, Let's look at some of those unique points. I have had some married teachers who have written some books on this matter. You know, some, some married teachers, there's a man very, very known in Nigeria, those of us who are around Nigeria. If you have the book, you're a married man, please look for that book and read. It's the A to Z of a, a, to Z of a man, man and woman. He tried to say what A means in women and what A means in men. He, from a to, he, he and his wife did that book. And it's wonderful. If you can find that book, read it, it's going to help you. Now, but today, whether other family teachers also have written, but my point today is, even though those books are not exhaustive, there is no book that can exhaust, that can be exhaustive to tell you everything about her. What is important is for you to know the principle. Principle is the principle, the underlying, the background on the principle is that she can never be a man, and you can, and she should know that you can never be a woman. Let me run through. I have about five of them, and then she will continue from where. Number one is understand that 
physiologically, that is the way God made us. God didn't make us to be the same. See, there's, there are things going on in the world today. I don't know who is listening to me. You know, we'll say, oh, this is a, you know, women, equality, women equality with men. There's, there's nothing to be equal about. <laughs> a man is not bigger than a woman. Those who talk about women equality are those who think that men are bigger than men. Because even in my opinion, it looks like even women are bigger than men. Because a woman can keep you stand still. A woman can keep you at stand still, which a man cannot do. I don't know if you have a spirit. <laughs> a woman can keep you. It doesn't matter the age. She can keep you down. See, there is no need for that. Those who clam in some in some African world, it is like it's a, a men's world. Okay, mm -hmm. so in, like in the Western world, it's a women's world. All those things are simply because of lack of understanding. Confucian, it's right. confusion because people do not know that a woman can never be a man and a man can never be a woman. God didn't make it that way. Right. See, if God has wanted us to be all men, or all, he would have, it, when he was making another person for Adam, he would have made another man. If God has wanted us to be all women, so oh, this is what he should. He, God made us to be men, women, because a woman is needed in the life of a man to be what he is supposed to be. And a man is needed in the life of a woman to be what she is supposed to be, for it to work. Otherwise, why would it be in the same sex marriage? One person will be husband, the other one will be wife. Why will not wife, wife, if they are women? Okay, why not husband, husband, if they are men? It's because that's how God made the origin. One person must be a husband and take the role of a husband, the role of a man. The other person must be a wife, which is the role of a woman, take the role of a woman and the responsibilities. And also be accorded the rights. Yeah. She must be accorded those rights as yeah, a, that a woman problem. should be. That's where the problem comes. Yeah, you have to accord her people. those rights, uh, which a wife, right. whether she's whether he's a man or a woman in the marriage, you can ask questions if you have studied. He, he, he must give her the rights of a woman. If it's any other thing, a woman, my wife, <laughs> you understand? If it's also the one you're saying, even though she's originally born a woman, but she is now your husband, you will still have to call her man, husband. This is it. That's how it is. So, you we must understand that physiologically. Okay, look at me. The way God created me, I am not like. I'm not like my wife. I'm not like she can't be like me. All right, she can't be like me. She was created in a different way. Everything about the body of a woman, even the number of bones. Even the number of bones that, that a woman has and the one men have, they are not the same. The number of veins, the brain, the brain type, everything which we're going to see, they are not the same. God decided to make it that way for her to be called. Otherwise, why is it that Adam didn't call her? Hey, now I have found the bone of my bone. She, he, she shall be called man too, Adam too. Why did, she, why did he call her a woman? Because, yes, the only way, the only place where a man and a woman looks alike is because we are human beings created in the image of God. Aside that, there is nothing else that a woman and a man have to say. Even our genitals, even our, I don't have a womb, a woman has. And you know what? The woman, this woman's womb, it is the same, the same if you check your body, it's the same, but there's womb there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> life expectancy, for those of us who are in insurance, this different life expectancy of a man and a woman, they are not the same. Modality, they are not the same. There's, not, there's no time, there's no where a woman and a man are the same. A woman can do whatever a man can do, but they are not the same. A man can do the man, and you, and you know the unfortunate thing, the unfortunate thing, not all, not all that a man can do. Now, what does that tell us? It tells us that a woman can never be, a, a man can never be a woman. Because there are things, say a woman can, whatever a man can do, a woman can even do better. It's true, it's not a problem. The point is that what of, there are things that women can do, a man, a man cannot do. So we're not the same. Right, number two is that, our thought pattern. Men think there's a part of the head they call in brain. 
I don't want to go into that because of psychology, so that you don't say, oh, this, that's, they say is the gray part of the area of the brain, and then the white part of the brain. Those ones are, are the online, you can read them. The, but the, in my own opinion, that is the way I'm functioning for you to understand it is men think with their head. With their, sorry, women think with their head, and men think with their heart. This is the reason why it is easier for men to men are more prone to heart attacks and high blood pressure. Why? Because everything that happens to a man does what? The thing goes down to the heart. If you can see, my wife will just, I will just feel like she'd be asking me, even my small boy, they ask me because whatever comes from the it goes there, you, you see with your heart, you straight things, see things. But the woman, those things are there. She would think that she can even be, I will guess this next point anyway. <laughs> she, she, she can process as many things as possible. Have you ever asked yourself, why is it that women in their life, if you look at it, women, that we have an adage in my tribe, they say any God, that's any shrine that a woman is in charge. You know, that's one of the things that my tribe, they believe that women are less. They, any tribe that a woman is, is in charge of, <laughs> any shrine, any god that doesn't take time to keep people. You know why? Because naturally, women are more irrational, irrational than men. A woman can burn down the house before she start thinking, where are we going to stay? It's just to prove to you that you cannot ride on high anyhow. Just tell her you can't do anything. She burn down the house to make you know that she can do something. But men will not think like that. Even if, you know, a woman can <laughs> say, say, I think I was the one who bought this house. Or was the one who did this? Let's leave it. A woman can give all her money out to some to, to prove to her husband to make him feel the pain. That's why you see women making men to feel the pain. Yeah. You went because of especially how they felt. If, if you hurt them, if you hurt a woman, and they feel bad. She they want to, want to, they to, want to feel to the feel pain. pain. You're gonna feel it. It's pain. because of their thought pattern. That's how they are, have been trained. You see. I will give you one other one that's very close to that. See, so I mean, we men are single-minded, but ladies are multi-minded. A woman can process as many things as possible in her head. But me, if I'm thinking about two things sometimes, I will start having a headache. Yeah, but a woman can carry, but a woman can as, carry many as she's thinking about supper. She's thinking about the next cloth to wear for work tomorrow. Even she's how thinking to about it. what to do in the office as she gets How to love the husband. She's also thinking about, ah, this is my child that has this yeah. birthday that's coming the next three months. She's thinking the whole thoughts are being So because, of, because of that, sometimes I don't want her to know something. There's, some, there's be, a question she has been asking me since two days. I don't want her to hear. You can't be talking because to somebody and the person is saying that thing. Because we are talking here, she can't even remember that thing now. Because then me, as far as I'm in this marriage, my mind is here now. Yeah, this is where I am. You know, so the point is that what is responsible for men and women to talk and respond. This is rather what I'm saying. This is exactly what is responsible for men and women to talk and respond to issues the way they do because of their thought pattern. So you won't be killing your wife that, ah, this is my wife. She talks too much. She's a talker to you. That is how she's so that's wired. I'm looking at my wife. She's wired to talk because of the many things that go on in, in her brain. If you're not happy, can't you keep quiet? You know, many ideas. You know, when she's sad, yeah. she's talking. When she's happy, when she's talking. Is, see, when you a, know? So every time it's all talk. If, you, know? if you are not a woman, when, when a woman is stressed up, when a woman is angry, she talks. But me, if, if a man is angry, he's stressed, the best thing is to yeah. keep quiet, even to leave the environment. Can, but the woman will talk it out and talk and talk and talk it out until she, the thing, until the thing leaves her, until yeah, she, yeah, until she makes them feel good. The body, until she yeah. talks the body out. They get relieved as they talk. You know? But the men, relieved. if I'm talking, men, men if it's the thing, everything, they see, the thing store everything inside. Of them. Store it here. And here. you see them little things that are developing they heart attacks. They have ruptures. They have heart problems. The, the vein here that is connecting to the heart, this vein, vein that connects to the spinal cord, when one of them have issue, that is what they call stroke. Go, that go is what you them. have to help your, your, your heart. Go ask men. This, this to is really connects to the brain. The brain connects to the body. Once it, one of them has problem because of too much stress on men, you see them having stroke. Number three, I don't need to discuss this one so much, dressing. 
please don't kill her. Remember, like I tell people, I tell people that women are refined. They are refined creatures. How? That God took time to mold Adam from the dust. But when God wanted to mold Eve, what did God do? God put Adam to sleep. Adam and has to took, go on a holiday. Took one, so God will take his time took one, to do make a woman, you know, to so, make her beautiful. So he took God everything time. about her takes time. She, she takes time, time in dressing. She takes time in everything. So there is my advice is, you know, some men complain a lot. Because time. of this, my wife, I've missed so many appointments. I go to church late. We can't you know, up on time. If you know there's something to do, please give your wife. 30 to one hour time extra. Yeah. On, on that's no, on top angry. of your time. Give her every day you have any anything, appointment, mm. uh, well, location to get give her 30 it's not because to of one because hour of time. Yeah. So that she will be able to prepare on time and it will no longer be an issue in the house. Mm -hmm. That oh no, you, you will leave her and start going mm. for a program. No, she don't do that. You know, you give her enough time, wake her up on time. Come and start dressing my wife because you know that no, naturally. Let's, let's start dressing because if you say come and start dressing, okay. she think, let's yeah, start dressing. Let's start it's dressing. just because you want her to dress, not to you. be on time. Yeah. You'll be helping her. Mm -hmm. Baby, let's let's this hair. Huh? Or even ask her about the clothes she's gonna wear for the occasion of we'll that day, so that she prepare everything and you know not to waste your time for mm -hmm. that day. So when you understand all these things, it will no longer be an issue problem. in the house. You happily go that out. This is my wife. Is she takes time in everything. I've come to know that. Most marriages, before two people want to go out, they're already quarreling. Why? Yeah, because then, because this one had made him, yeah, the woman had made him, delayed him, him, delayed him like gotten that. him angry. See, and there's no need for that anger from today. Listen, there's no need for that anger. Wake her up earlier. Help her dress. When she finishes, yeah, then you put this thing on. It's not this one. Put it on. I rub, what am I rubbing? Put it on. Then you go out. Happily, happily. Yeah, you open the door. Nobody will be blowing on. Why do you, you have to leave your wife and go? If I'm not going to get out, I'll leave the car. Go. Hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't. You just Carry need out. to study her, understand her, and then help. help if you are not married, you yeah, are listening to us now. Please take note of all this. Number three, number four, sharp, sharp, sharp. The stress, strength and the stress levels of men and women are not the same. Listen carefully. Physically, a man, a man's body, this body looks stronger. But the point is, women are stronger in heart. In heart. We are stronger in heart than men. Another Bible teacher, Mary teacher said that, says, I'm just quoting him. Reverend Dr. Charles Apoki. So you just quote people. You don't make it your own. So he said that, He's a medical doctor too. Maybe we hear this message. He said that, that God gave women womb. And you know what? The womb, when the woman is pregnant, the womb increases. It increases. It increases. But it doesn't tear. Have you had anywhere that I don't know? Then that would be a dangerous attack. That a woman was pregnant, even women who have given birth to eight children, mm -hmm. they won't be still eight children Will at the time, that? seven children at the time, the womb didn't tear. No, 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 men, listen. Women, if you're online, see, am I lying? The womb did not tear until, until the time of delivery for nine months, it didn't tear, and the woman didn't die. She will carry it, she carried it through. So, whether I tell people. It's because they don't have understand. Women are stronger than men. That is why, if you ask me, if you like study and know if what I'm saying is true, how many widows do we have? And how many widowers do we have? And then it doesn't take you time to remarry as a man. It's I like thought that a cool. man, when he loses his wife, is remarrying or he dies. Two things. Only few men survive singlehood as widow as widow. Yeah. Only few, just few. <laughs> Only few. So why do you tell me that men are stronger? It's because people don't understand. Women are stronger in heart. A woman can take care of four children. Not only for kids. And the, the time they even take care of manage, the parents, the parents of manage, the husband that left her. She will manage, both the, manage the business, manage, both manage the family, everything. Manage everything, plus the stress of work, everything. And she goes to work. Her, but you know what? A man can lose a wife today. He's already confused. Well, he doesn't even know where to, to start. Is it to start betting these children? 
or to go to markets or to how he doesn't know where to start he's already dying so because of that he will get married other women are already coming say uncle let me help you eh? before you know it he's selecting one of them mm -hmm. that is it we are not the same women are made in that way and finally ladies have longer memory than men i have to stop here which women make, make makes us women make women say that women they say women they can't forgive it's not true <laughs> they forgive you but because of the way god molded their memory they forget easily, hurts easily. And that's why I want to advise every man. If I, you didn't hear anything from me today, please hear if you're a man listening to this message. Find, please make every effort not to hurt your wife because she will forgive you, but it is very easy for her to forget it. Make every effort not to hurt her. Please, I'm hearing, hear me, men, I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. Make every effort not to hurt your wife. Because even after 20 years, she remembers the hurt. That's how her memory is wow. If even other things, make every effort to keep her away from troubles and problems caused by you. Mm -hmm. The reason is because when you want to do another thing tomorrow, say, see, she will tell you, see, see, yeah, I'm not ready for that trouble again. See, you, see, you made us lose one yeah, million people. See, I'm not ready for us to lose any one million again. It, <laughs> you made us, you made us. They push us out of our house. See, I am not ready for that again. Even when this one you are talking about now will work, <laughs> she would warn you. Uh, you'd be surprised. I thought you had for, I, I thought I asked for forgiveness that time. You told me, say, I'm forgiving you, but I don't want to go through that thing again. You say, yeah, no, I'm okay. So be careful how you make her go through troubles because of your carelessness. Because men will think straight. We just think that you don't think when you are with him, when you, when you are, even when you even in bed, even to the folks who are married. We, we are in bed. Women will think about, see, if this thing, see, or, please, or, go and cover, go and protect yourself. The reason is because if, any, if there's any mistake, she will be the one that will carry pregnancy after three months of having. She's still not seen a child at three months and she's been pregnant. She will be the one. Oh, oh say, we're not going to have children again. She will say, I'm not ready to have children again. You want us to come say, ah, men, men say, okay, children are from God. You see, children are, as far as women are concerned, they want to have children when they want to have it. So she will tell you, go and protect yourself. You say you are hot and hot. Oh God, wait, go. See, they think they process many things at the same time. They process it. Say, what if this thing happened this way? Say, no. So that's why you need. To, don't say ah, you need this woman anytime. You, she has spoiled the mood. She has anytime I come to her, she pushes me out. Before I say, say because of that, you put it. Say, let me go to those guests outside. No, who want anytime I want to shash up, they will give me shash up. You see, bro, listen, men, listen carefully. Women and they have women would think far. She will process if this thing happened this way. What if, what if the door is not locked? Oh, what if she is thinking many things at the same time? What is somebody? Can, what, where are we? The brain never rests. Their brain it's keeps always working. Busy, okay. And that's why that um, um Pastor Kinsley said, I, I can remember that his word. He said, say, distract them. <laughs> I like I didn't understand what's going on. Because he's, a woman's brain is always working. Always on. She's on. There's no dull moment. There's no time. We say putting to put rest, right. you know. No, it's working. It's always active, <laughs> yeah, you know. It's working. Thinking, planning. Where will this, this thing end? In the brain. This journey we want to go you now. Know? Where will it end? This decision we want to take, as good as the thing is, where will it end? Baby, I stop here. And that is why if your own, if your wife is not acting that way, you need to pray for her. Yeah. Because it helps, you know. When he talked about the risk. You know, a man can easily take a risk. A mm -hmm. man can easily wake up this morning and tell you, but I'm we're gonna do this business of so so millions, yeah. you know. If I will use we'll use our house as a collateral. And a woman will look at you but and once say, we eat it, it will be billions. A woman will look at you and say, What no, if he fails? You no, know? you know, because that emotional intelligence is there. God has wired her in such a way that mm. she's very cautious. A woman is very cautious, you must know, mm. you know, and it is a special gift from God. God put it in there mm. so that. She can protect her family, protect her children, and even protect you, that is the man. Mm. So why would you kill her because of it? If it's not there, then her children, she can wake up and support you, and everything will go down the drain. And then she and the kids will be suffering tomorrow. So it is there to make you, to protect you from fraud, from anything that will land your family into perpetual suffering tomorrow. Mm. So anytime she's coming 
treading cautiously, asking you, my husband, don't, get don't you think we should do it this way? Hey, some men will shut them down. Yeah. No, you won't be doing yourself any good when you don't listen to your wife. Before you continue, and because of that, when you want to make some steps, mm, you won't tell her. You won't tell her. And you just go and do it. Go and ask me questions. I've met some of them and I failed. Mm -hmm. You you will come back with stories of regret, you know. Yeah. But when you when you bring her in, when you bring her in, she will advise you. You know, we have kids, mm. and these kids. Let's do it this way. And she gives you intelligent counsel, and that is bringing me to what I want to tell you about women. Okay. You should have the understanding that the wife you have in your house is not just a wife. Mm. She has many other roles. She has been desi designed by God to play in your life. Yes. So you'll be a wise man if you have the understanding that she is not just a wife. Mm -hmm. This woman here is my partner. Mm -hmm. She's my wife. She's my counselor. She's my teacher. She's my administrator. She's my director. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes you see you see us talking authoritatively in the house. Mm -hmm. And like, are you my boss? She's your boss. She can talk like your boss at times because when she reasons that way, she tells you, this is not good for us, my husband. This is not good for you. She's your doctor. A woman plays every role on earth. She's a scientist. Mm -hmm. She's an economist. So when she's coming from every angle she's coming up from, please understand that she is wired by God that way. Mm -hmm. Don't take it that, oh, she wants to take me. Now I want to be the man. Mm -mm. You know, don't see it that way. I know sometimes approaches, you know, we use in presenting some of these things may be wrong, but you can throw away the man and take the advice, mm -hmm. which will be good for you. Because if you definitely ignore her, whatever she's bringing to you, she's not talking to you about your health. Mm -hmm. She's your doctor. Your number one doctor is your wife. Forget about whether she went to school or not. Don't despise her for anything. Mm -hmm. Take what she's saying to you. She said, my husband, this thing is not good for your health. You are eating too much fat these mm -hmm. days. I want you to slow down. Mm -hmm. No, it's because of your heart. She's talking to you because of your health. She doesn't want to lose you. It's not like she doesn't want you to eat, mm -hmm. you know? So you must understand the angle your wife is coming from mm -hmm. at each point in time that she has many roles she's going to play in your life. Remember that the reason why God, one of the reasons God brought us, brought women into the lives of a, a, a men mm. is to help them fulfill the purpose of God. Yes. There is a purpose of God for creation in Genesis. Mm -hmm. And that purpose of God will not be fulfilled except there is a woman. A woman will come to bring it to be, bring it to fulfillment. Is a man and a woman that will do it together. You can't achieve it as a single person, as a man. And you can't achieve your own as a woman alone. You will need a woman to, to help you to achieve that. Mm. That particular thing, you know, God said, the Bible said God created us in our own image, in his own image and likeness. Mm -hmm. so whatever it will take you to fulfill that purpose of God as a man God has put it in a woman mm -hmm. it is for you to cool that and understand this woman that God has given you mm -hmm. study her, know her area the area she works so best with you so good with you and take her from there mm -hmm. and then everyone has weaknesses weaknesses will show up discard the weaknesses Work, relate with the person based on the person's strengths and then you will see your marriage moving forward. Mm -hmm. What you're complaining about your wife is also in another home. Mm -hmm. And that person is managing his own mm -hmm. very well. So why will you keep complaining, keep nagging every time I always about your wife, telling people how bad she is? No woman is th that bad. Mm -hmm. I know there are some women that are terrible. I know. You know, I don't even pray you have them because they are there. But that doesn't mean that they are not, they have these qualities called used to design and decorate their lives. Mm -hmm for men to use it, for it to be useful in the life of a man. And you must remember, you know, when First Peter talked about the way God created us, that we were wonderfully and fearfully men, mm. that we are very unique. Every woman is unique, different, peculiar. We may share some general things. We have some general things in common, but every woman is also peculiar. Wow, that's my manner good. of presenting <laughs> things and the another woman's manner of presenting things. See, though all of us are counselors and teachers, may mm -hmm. not be the same. Mm -hmm. So know your wife. If she's the soft type, the harsh type, you know. So just know how you relate with her. It will it will help you as a man. Mm -hmm. And then you know, if you still read the same Genesis again, Genesis is still, is, is too loaded. You know, when it has to do with marriage. You must understand as a man. You will say, oh, why am I talking about men? Men, Talking as in I'm against men. I am not. But I want you to have understand some things about women. Remember God made a woman, a woman to be a weaker vessel. Mm -hmm. I think who wrote about women being weaker vessels is like Paul. 
Yeah. Is it Peter or Paul? Yeah. No, Peter. Peter wrote about us being the weaker vessel, and he advised you men to treat us with what? Understanding. understanding. Every woman needs understanding. Every woman needs love. Every woman needs you, needs you to be committed to her, mm -hmm. devoted to her. Every woman wants you to always give her assurance that she's the number one in your life. Even if she's giving you a headache, she wants you to still prove to her, make her know, reassure her on daily basis that she's the number one person in your life. There's no other person out there that's more important to him than you. Once you make her know, hmm, there's nothing a woman cannot do for you. But when you want to make a woman know that you are not valued in my life, I have another, after my mom is there, <laughs> or my siblings and my sisters are there, mm. or I have people outside that I value more than you, then there will be no peace for you. I promise you that. <laughs> that woman will trouble your life. But make her know that. Why is it that you see some women, <laughs> their husbands do a lot of cheating, you know? But they still, the woman still treats them like king, queen, like king they are, you know? Mm. Whereas some people, they as they are coming home, they're even raining abuses and insults on you. Mm. The difference is in the in the manner of handle, the way you handle your the way this this one that cheats a lot handles the wife, and the other way, this other one also handles the wife. You show her a lot of love in the house. And even when you're telling her he's doing such a thing, she says, I don't care. He can always be a man. After all, men are polygamous in nature. It won't be anything big deal mm. because the man is showing her love. He is caring for her. When a man is showing you love and caring for you, what else do you need? You know, you make her know she's valued, she's important. Despite the fact that you, I'm not saying you should be doing it, you, that, that is a good thing, no? Mm. But I am saying that every woman needs care, 100% care. Every woman needs your attention. That time you are coming back, what do you do? Do you spend quality time with, with her even after you're cheating outside? You know, she will glue to you. She will still love you. She will still submit to you. Mm. Despite what your weaknesses she hears about and she and everything. So that is what you must know about women. And because Bible have said we are the weakest vessels, why will you make a weaker vessel? Why will you subject her to unnecessary load in the family? Do you know that some women have been subjected to all the bees in the house is on them. All the bees in the house, they pay. She pays all the bees. And you see a man that is supposed to be the head of the family. A neck is even better. There's no neck, let alone being the head. You know, And you call yourself a, a head of the family. The woman is the one responsible for the kids, straight, taking care of the kids, paying all the bees, doing everything. And a man does practically nothing. And then some of these women still receive ill treatments my treatment from this same man is not supposed to be because number one if you stress your wife so much like my husband explained we are weak not at heart really but our body our we body. are not too strong yeah. you understand and the woman falls sick and you know too much pressure she gets old, older, older her than her age. Mm -hmm. And then she begins to fall sick anyhow, anyhow. Mm -hmm. Because of too much pressure you have inserted upon her in that marriage. Mm -hmm. She will die quickly. Yeah. And then she will leave her kids. That Those kids are very important that she should be alive for them. Because mm -hmm. no other woman can take care of your children like their own mom. Yeah. So please, preserve the life, lives of these women. You know, don't let them go through a lot. Some of them are working, they're doing business, they have shops, and you see them, you know, they, they, are not, they don't rest. Encourage your wives to rest, please. When they come back from work and there's something you can do to help them, help them out. Don't say, mm, kitchen is the woman. Like, the kitchen belongs to the woman. Yeah. Even with all the stress, even when she's complaining of having a stressful day, not feeling too well, you will still expect her to go in there, make your food as the, the man you are. No, things are not done that way. Remember, please treat her with understanding. Mm -hmm. When she complains about anything, take it serious. That's what the Bible says, that advises us to treat, treat them mm -hmm. with understanding, with compassion, with love. You know, why we, as women, should submit to the men? Mm -hmm. It is very important that we do all these things. And finally, I think I have... Okay. Then, the last one I talked about is that as a man and as a woman, mm -hmm. you must understand that as a man and a woman, this is an issue in marriage. When you begin to see your wife as God, begin to see your husband as God, he's a man, he's just your husband, she's just your wife. There is nothing she can make happen in that marriage. You want him to be, you are saying, you didn't give me, did you give me a child? Did you give me a child? If you had given me a child, I would have given birth. Did you give me, you know, I'm quarreling, the house is filled with quarreling, everyday, you know, disagreement. A child doesn't come from a man. And a child doesn't come from a woman. You know that story that happened in Genesis chapter 10 about uh, 
Isaac. Isaac and, and Rebecca. And, and Rebecca. You know, she said, give me a child or I die. Huh? Uh, no, that's it. Not Rebecca now. Jacob and Rachel. Rachel. Mm -hmm. It's the story of Rachel. Mm -hmm. She went to him and said, give me a child or I die. Mm -hmm. Does a child come from a man? Mm -hmm. You know, some of you have, you know, you have been having one particular sex, female, female, mm -hmm. and you are crucifying the woman that she didn't give you a male child. Mm -hmm. For crying out loud, it is not her duty to do that. Every, Every day, day you, you talk to her anyhow, because of her, so you are even threatening her, how you go and bring in a second wife. A child doesn't come from a man, no, and a child doesn't come from a, a, a woman. And keep it, and keep it outside. It doesn't, she is just a wife. She is just a woman. She's she not, God. it's not God that, that gives kids children even the money we are talking about that your husband is even poor he didn't make himself poor if he have tried if people say you know he may have tried to do so many things but he, and he's not succeeding are you gonna kill him every day you're nagging on his head how useless he is because he is not bringing he didn't make money like other men you compare him with other men who are, are wealthy this man is just a husband. And he, he can cannot want to go and make the money and, uh -huh. and, and the collateral will be you. We, we not need you for sacrifice, <laughs> you know? So let's take it easy <laughs> or, on ourselves. Or beloved child. Mm -hmm. Let's take it easy on ourselves and understand our limitations as men, as mortals. We can't go beyond that. Mm. There are things I, I can't do. And if you are expecting me to do them, you are wasting your time. Mm -hmm. And things he can do, if I'm expecting him to do them, I'm wasting my time. I will end up making my, my home very hard. For my kids, they won't have peace of mind. There won't be any peace in the house. Just because we don't want to have simple understanding. We won't want to apply all this understanding that this man can't go beyond being a man. Mm. He must react like a man. You know how men can be at times. They can be very nasty. I'm sorry to use that word. They go to the bathroom, you finish cleaning, they mess it up. Mm. They pee everywhere, all over the places. My God, you come in, you are going crazy. You're going nuts. Mm. I know. Even a man has to know that even this is my nature, but at least I have to do this thing to make, maintain the peace of my home. That one, if you pour it from Nazi to and the man doesn't want to change, he cannot change. If he doesn't want to change in that attitude, what do you do? You teach your sons, you know? Like I was teaching my sons, I say, please, I don't want people to grow up to be doing this thing that some men do. So that when you marry, you will not have issues with your wives, your future wives. When you are done using the toilet, please grab a tissue and clean up the seat everywhere. Make sure it's looking clean before you leave. And I thank God they have imbibed that, even though it's difficult for them at times. But, you know, we must have to teach, we mothers, we must also have to teach our male children some of these things that cause problems in the home. I was told about a home that what cause problems is only to first. Mm. You press from the bottom, you don't press from the up, the top. That was a problem. The next day, the man pressed from the bottom. The woman said, oh, you don't hear. Quarrel, uh, fight, marriage. marriage ended. Mm. You know, you come to bathroom sink, everywhere is first all over the place. Some of them, their mother didn't teach them. So don't kill him because of that. The only thing, you talk it over as husband and wife. If there's any way, any area he can change, he change. But if there's no area he can change, it then means it's you that will have to change as a person just to adjust to his own. Adjust, ad address, well, it, there's, there are comments, Bimba, uh, Kali, there's a comment. No, oh, you have to get the time. Yeah, so, yeah, so you can't kill somebody because of such things. I will build on that. Please, women. Stop thinking about how to train your husband, train your sons. Because you can't train. Yeah, because these ones are just old enough. You know. A man that is above Stop. 30 years, what are you going to do Don't in his think life? Don't about how to train a man. Channel that training to your, train, your use, sons. Use, my, use the mistake of your husband mm -hmm. to, train your, to sons. train your sons. That's what I'm doing. If I see what my wife is not doing well, I use that. Yeah. Train the unique daughter to God has given to me. So you see, don't do our this. Daughter. So That's she true. doesn't do like me. No. Because most of us, we didn't hear about all these things. So it's now we are having this knowledge. Stop the training. So mm -hmm. what I'm trying to ask to what she said, stop the training, cover up. And then channel the training to your kids. Train the children. Yeah. You stop the training, but do what? Cover up the person, the, your wife's mistake. Cover up your, she's covering my mistakes. Cover up your husband's mistakes. Cover them up. But train your younger, your children. All right. See, she was saying something that I want to build on before she will read that statement out. Please. Your husband is not God. He is a man. Your wife is not God. She's a woman. Please. You need God in your marriage. Not your husband and not your wife. That's the reason we're here. You need God to be the God of your marriage. 
the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You need Jesus in your marriage for some issues to be what you want them to be. If I want to use one of them, make it an example, this man doesn't have, it's not doing well. Bring God, let God help him. Bring God in. This woman is not doing well. Maybe she's not having children. I know of, I think it's Isaac. That was Isaac, and Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. It's from the time I saw it, my life changed. And Isaac entreated the Lord. You know, last week we were discussing, we were talking about, see, I needed to entreat my wife. My wife didn't have any problem. So I had to entreat the Lord for her. And the Lord assured me. So the, entreat the Lord. Because when we say some things, people will make mistakes of thinking, oh, no, they are virgins. They, they, they don't have children for 10 years. You don't get angry with her. Entreat the Lord for your wife. She is desiring a male child, a female child. Do what? Man, entreat the Lord. When I was started with in my prayer ministry those days, I told ladies, you know, they come for pregnancy. I said, no, now from, God told me from now, bring the men. Because when you pray prayers with women and the men are not involved, it doesn't go well because the men can be doing other things. So when you and I discovered that I was bringing the men to be with their women as we pray, the matter was happening. So you know, if lay hand on this your, your wife's womb and pray for her. So long story is please, you need Jesus. If you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, bring him in now. He will help you. When you receive him, whether you are the man. Or you're the woman, Jesus will now pass through you to your spouse. You need Jesus. Read that what we have so that we can pray. Okay. If you have more comments, you can you can you can write them or um, you can just make comments while she's that? reading this, otherwise we'll be done for today. Okay. Yeah. You say women have strong instincts. Yeah. Even in friends' determination. Mm -hmm. When a woman says, avoid this friend, there must be something. Yeah, that's what we're saying. That right. women see far, farther than men. Mm. That a woman is talking to you about a particular person that I don't like this, your friend. Mm. This person is not a good person. Sure you have not, to listen. Not year, be not, another it may year. not be immediately. Listen to her. Mm. Because what we'll see, forget it, there, there's a proverb they used to say that what an adult, an old man sees why sitting down, why sitting down that a child, even, even when was, the child when climbs, climbs up the tree, wall, that that he will not the, see. the child won't see it. Mm. That is how it is. What a woman can see even while on her bed, in her bedroom. Mm. You, a man that is there. outside there with those friends, you, will, you, won't, you see won't see it. So when they are telling you about... And when you're telling her the story of what happened between mm -hmm. you and your friend, so she please. will ask you one question. <laughs> they see it. So they, they, they see far. So mm. listen to them. Yeah, when she's telling you about anything, please, don't say it. Don't see that she's trying to be too domineering, controlling no. you. Are you now, you know, um, should I be listening we to you? We don't have all the time no. to deal with all that because of time. Women are born that way. Yeah. Women are born to be domineering. Whether even the ones that are like this, they don't talk. That's why women's, it means women's suggestions are decreased. That is the nature. You have to know. Don't even come to the house to start thinking as a man you want to do it. You will crop, you will finish your marriage, you finish your family. Give the woman that place, like she said. So, and I know that there is nothing we can say here that will be exhaustive. That's why we have to stop here. Yeah. You need Jesus. In your marriage, sure. you need Jesus in your life. Stop saying, Pastor, that thing you said is true. My husband needs Jesus. No, you, it's you. You are the one who needs Jesus. If you get Jesus, Jesus will not pass through you. Yeah. If you get Jesus and submit to him, mm -hmm. Jesus will not pass through you and reach that man. If you get Jesus as a man, that says, my wife is a devil. She's a witch. I wish my wife would hear this message. No, it's, the message is not meant for your wife. It's meant for you. You are the one that needs Jesus. He said, no, no, pastor, I've been a serving God from childhood. It's not true. I love, you might be serving God, but Jesus is not in charge of your life. He's not the ruler of the marriage. He's not in charge of the marriage. He's not in charge of the marriage. Let Jesus be in charge of your life. Let the Holy Spirit be in charge of your marriage. Allow him space in your life. Then you will see how he will take over that things and help you process them and you have a sweet marriage. We'll stop here today. Please, if this message has blessed you, share it to either on YouTube or on Facebook. Share to your friends. Let them hear. Marriages are having issues. 
Husbands are quarreling with their wives every day. And that's the reason the Lord brought us here. Mm -hmm. He wants, he's, we're not, that's, he wants people to hear this message. Stop having issues. Because the more we have issues as husbands and wives, that's the more we are, raising, we are creating bigger problems for our children. Because whatever we did at the 10th percent, they will do it at 20. Whatever we did at 20 percent, they did it at 40. David was a good king, Abby, I, I think. But when Solomon came, what did he do? He blew up the vision. So if it is good, if you are living as a good wife, as a good husband, as good couples, you are making these children to grow up tomorrow to become better couples. Mm -hmm. And that's the message. We want every marriage, share it to everybody, on Facebook, on YouTube, on, on WhatsApp, anywhere. Let people hear this message and know that marriage is actually sweet. Marriage is not a problem. Marriage is sweet. It, the, this woman is sweet. When she becomes a yeah, woman this, and you, uh, the you man this becomes woman a man. Sweet. Men are devils. No, we, we, marriage is sweet. Just allow God to have his way. Please share. And God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, prayer. Thank you, Lord, for your word, for helping us this morning. Yes. We ask that you help each and every one of us, every woman out there, yes, to understand her place yes, in Lord. a marriage. Yes. And let every man out there understand his place yes. in a marriage. That both both can work together. Mm -hmm. And for those who are yet to go into marriage, the Lord, mm -hmm. they will go into the into marriage with the right notions, with the with with the right mindset to make their marriages work. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you for connecting. Thank you. Next week is another day. We are going to be discussing why are you cold towards me. Another one that is listening. Why are you cold towards me? Why? Because this question is like somebody's already asking it. Your wife is already asking it. To her husband, say, Why are you cold? You know what I mean? yeah, the man says, What is my wife? You cold? What did I do? Next week, you are going to know why your wife has been cold towards you, why your husband has been cold towards you, and the dangers of coldness in marriage. We're going to hear all of them. Tell your friends, invite them to be here 9 a.m. Saskatchewan time and the 4 p.m. Nigerian time. If you're in Nigeria, in some parts of UK and Africa, and other, you convert your own time 9 a.m. next week. Why are you cold towards me? May the Lord bless you in Jesus' Bye. name. Amen. Bye. Have a, have a very wonderful weekend. Bye.